Schwing! Hello and welcome to another episode of Good Clean Gaming. I'm your host, Jalindo, and today we're playing Crusader Kings 2. And also, I found out, I, I feel better about myself now because I found out I'm not wrong. I had everything in place. You can now see that I can declare war. So, in the last episode, we couldn't declare war, and it said I was in revolt. And there had a little X. If you look at this, uh, the tooltip here, it's, I had a little X. It's not on there, but you know what I mean. I had a little X. Look, look at the last video. Trust me, it's there. Uh, I had a little X that said I could not do this. And now I can. And so what happened was, it, it, there was every now and then this game gets conditions hung up in it, and it forgets that things have changed, and it doesn't re or it realize that things have changed, and it won't register it until it reloads and kind of reprocesses all the kind of the entire situation. So when in doubt, something's not working the way you expect it to, go ahead and just save and reload, and things may be better. If it's not better, then chances are uh, you don't perfectly understand the game mechanics you may need to look at it closer um that's what i thought was the case in this case this case i actually think i i i, I just a bug so we're gonna go ahead and take advantage of Nortgal here the county and the duchy should fall into our hands i think i'm not sure but let's hope that it works out that way so i'm gonna go ahead and declare war yes that'll claim it for us we call in allies and call that guy. Come on, that guy. Join in with me. Get up all my troops. Trooping with my troops. So I'm not going to be sitting on my hands anymore. I think I've done enough sitting on my hands in this series. I'm going to start actively trying to take over a kingdom. The kingdom of Middle Francia, I believe. And then after that, I'm going to be um, trying to take over the Empire. That's going to be our goal for the next... I don't know, 400, 500 years. Making sure we get there, and if we get to the Empire level, we'll, we'll just start expanding until until Europa Universalis and see how far we get. So go ahead and speed things up a little bit. Legal Age Nephew. A Nephew. A Nephemy. A Nephew. Get it? Get it? No? Not funny. You get it, it's just not funny. I understand that. I respect that. Who do we want? Who do we want? Who do we want? Ooh, she's got good stats. I want Lombard people. Lombardies. Lombard. She's, she's got some good stats. Cool. Our allies joining in with us. Nice. Count Addo. Our vassal. Hold on. Count Ado is our vassal. He is trying to kill Segun Hitteland, whoever that is. I have no idea who that is, and I don't I don't care enough to look it up. All I know is that he's currently the guy who's in the lead for taking over this position, and I don't want him to be. I'm gonna put my son up there, and I'm gonna go ahead and let's wait to see if our son takes over the inheritance. If he doesn't, then I'll go ahead and imprison this guy. Get him out of the way and some such thing like that. Ooh, ally. Our ally's coming down with a bunch of folks. Aquitaine has approved a limited crown authority law. Move it faster. Come on. Get it going. Peasant revolt up there. I, just, I made me nervous seeing that, that set of troops coming south. Just trying to get everybody together. For too long, I have directed my anger towards those who dimply do not deserve it. Simply do not deserve it. Jesus whispered to me and reminded me that I should direct it to to those who had sinned. Uh, that that tooltip needs work. I will be a true soldier of God loses wrath. Okay. So I'm still getting the whispers from the stupid possessed trait that is annoying. Hopefully soon that will be gone away. I don't know a way of actually removing that. I've mentioned that several times before, but if you, if you know a way to remove that... That I'm missing. Go ahead and count. It would help a lot. Merge. Okay, there's our troops. We'll go up here. Looks like we already got our allies already sieging for us. Thank you, ally. You rock. We'll just go ahead and march through whatever gets in our way here. Oh. Grandson is of age. Is he our first? He's our first grandson, I think. Yes. 
So we've got to make sure he has a good wife because he potentially could be, um, you know, in a good position. We have a princess of Byzantine, Byzantium, uh, Byzantine Empire available. That'd be good, good um, prestige, I think. We also have some princesses of Burgundy. That's a little closer, closer to home. Uh, yeah, let's go for the princess. It's hard to turn out a princess of an empire. Sure. Getting, getting up in that direction. Now we'll be able to uh, hurry up this siege. Hopefully the guy who's in charge of the siege isn't going to use the little siege button. Oh, queen wants me to be a chancellor. Sure, we can do that. We're 59, we won't be a chancellor for very long. We'll be a chancellor for a while. Oh, unpause. This, sh this shouldn't last long. Then we can move on to the next one. I have already moved our um, chancellor for fabrications up to, I think, Trier. Where is Trier? Up here. And we're going to try to take over that if someone else doesn't take it beforehand. My sin is too great, so I must show repentance. I care not what others think. Heaven is only for the truly repentant. I will don the cha uh, Silas to show the depth of my repentance. For my soul, gain piety, lose prestige. Uh, these religious events drive me nuts. Peace request. I gain the county of Nortdal. She's going to surrender. Oh, she's already at 100%. That was quick. Yeah, and force demands. Everyone. So she lost the county of Nordgal. Who got the Duchy of Alsace? No one has that. I have to have 51% all in control. 50%. So it looks like the Duchy of Alsace was destroyed by our taking this county. So we need to take Sundgal soon. And then we'd be able to reform that duchy. This guy also has the Kingdom of Burgundy claim. Cool. Maybe I'll move my fabricator down to Sundal. Does he have the same... Oh, he has a different liege. My mistake. Well, that was a waste. Oh, well. We'll fix that, hopefully, soon. Surprised he hadn't had any kids yet. Of course, he just got married. Today, my grandson, Tano, asked for a... Um, thief of his own. Eh? Eh? Mentioned church career? Yes, I did. Of course I did. Let's drop our troops. They'll regenerate, no worries. I can actually get, uh, some retinues going, which I'll go ahead and do that. Uh, light skirmish or skirmish? Let's go for skirmish. That's all we can do so far. A retinue is nice in case you're not used to them. Instead of having to get up your army each time or raise your army each time, it actually is a standing army. These are, are a little rare in medieval times, but um, it's kind of like uh, just a standing army back in the day. I always knew my ambition would help me reach great places and to acquire some wealth during the way is a nice bonus. Gold, diamonds, or uh, wait. Gain some gold. Probably because of my ambitious trait here. Neat. Oh! Oh! Bad timing. Okay, so we lost the Duchy of Salerno to Duke Ibor of Salerno. We will get that back. And I'm sure Theopert will do a good job of getting that back. Got a lot of Marshall. Look at that, 53 Marshall. With him and his wife being so good at Marshall stuff. And he is a holy warrior and a lightfoot leader. This should be nice. So I'll pause the game. Let's take a look at what we need to do here. Got some weak claims. County of Benevento. Can't do anything about that yet. Um, Duchy of... We have the Duchy of Salerno, right? Yes, we do. We can usurp that immediately because we own enough of it. This guy won't like us. Do we care? Not really. Usurp. Okay, and the Duchy of Gascon is elective. The Duchy of Salerno is elective, I believe, as well, right? Yep. Elective, elective, elective. Okay. 
cool. Educate. Educate a cousin. Good soldier. There. Pick a character focus. We'll do that. Uh, what is he a focus of? He doesn't have a focus yet. So we've done business. We've done family. I think that's the only two we've done so far. We've kind of make we kind of jumped on some others as we needed to, but really those are the only two we explored fully. Um, let's have some fun with rulership. What do you say? Duke Theodpert spends his time and effort trying to govern well. Gets three stewardship. Okay. So let's see how that focus works out. We also have technology available. I can move back to Salerno, can I? That's kind of where I want to be. Down here. There you go. Courtier can be arrested for trying to kill Glismoda Gandolfingy. Who's Gizmolda? Rodolina. Rodolina. No one close enough for me to really worry. I don't think. Yeah, not gonna worry about it. You do your thing. Will you implot? Oh, you will implot. I'll just tell it to implot. Looks less messy that way. Burn. I could retake Burn from that guy who we just took his duchy away from him. Might as well take his uh, county away from him, right? What else can we do here? Uh, we got that going for us. That'll be. We'll have a claim on that soon. We have a claim on the county of Benevento, which we can't really do anything about because the Empire has it. The Empire! What are we? The Rebel Alliance? Hey, hey. Yeah, I guess we could attack him. He's under our leash. He doesn't have a whole lot of troops. We have some troops. Let's wait for our troops to recover and then we'll just go over there and smash you. Smashy, smashy. Appoint our appropriate chancellor. Sometimes you don't have the right chancellors in place when you get succeeded. Succeeded. When you succeed. When you succeed. I don't know. Pronouncing that properly is hard. Harder than it should be. Court chaplain. One better on the court chaplain here. And he likes me more. Yep, going for that one. Alright, continuing on. Onward and upward. You have a new heir. We have a new heir, and it's our son. We we need to appoint our son, don't we? Yeah, we do. There we go. Um, we're one over on domain size. Just one over, which means we need to give up one of our thingy buffers. So if I go to this, Nortgal is one. I, I don't want Nortgal. It's in the middle of nowhere. So we're going to give that one up to somebody. How about... Someone in our court that likes us a lot. That's weird. In our court, we have Theopert, but I am Theopert. But according to this, I like myself at a negative 15. Hmm. Oh, opinion of liege. So my liege. Okay. That's a that's a bug. That's that shouldn't be there. I guess when I unpause, that'll go away. He's content. And yeah, let's just give it to him. Grant. Northgall. He's not a previous owner, so he's good. Count. Perfect. We lost our court chaplain that we just appointed. We're going to appoint that guy now. Oops. Whoopsie. Um, oh, we our, our chancellor is our rival, so we got to replace him. He's got a negative 100. That means he's not going to do anything. Anything useful, anyway. This guy's good enough. I should have saw that earlier. Why did I do that again? It's the wrong place. Alright, I'll, I'll fix that later. No worries. See, it looks like it's the same color, but it actually belongs to someone different. It belongs to the Holy Roman Empire. Betrothed can marry. My son with the Princess of the Byzantine Empire. She became, ooh, gray eminence. Gray and she's born in the purple, which means she has a claim to the Empire, to the son of our son. Son of our son. Son of our son. Let's get them married off. So when can we change our fabrication claim to another place? Okay. 
We can change that on the 1st of June, 8, 887. So we'll just wait for June, and then we'll change it back over to tri year right here. Tri year right here. Okay. And then go from there. I can't. The Chancellor died. That's actually not a bad thing, because now we can move him immediately. Once someone dies, you can immediately move the replacement. If you appoint someone new, they can move immediately. If you have someone old and you put them somewhere, they have to stay for like six months. Those Cathar revolts. That's the fourth one against the Holy Roman Emperor. Emperor. Our daughter needs to be educated. Let's make her a learned one. Oh, I missed. Missed click. Missed click. There we go. Our retinue's coming together down there. Look how they're regenerating troops. Laudul. Retinue's. We can't get any more right news. We don't have space for it, but we have space for this guy. Someone got converted. What's going on up here? There's some guy. Oh, there's a French revolt going on. Seems like the whole Roman Emperor is kind of weak. If all the kings would actually get together and fight against him, he wouldn't stand a chance. But. Oh! France lost. Normandy has been formed. But nobody wants to unite against the Emperor for some reason. He's kind of weak right now. I mean, look at this. He's getting mopped up right now. Then Now would be the perfect time to, to take him down. wonder why people aren't doing it. Oh, people are doing it. Liberation Revolt and the Cathar Uprising. Who are you liberation? liberating uh, Brittany? Perfect. Make him a little weaker. You see holes cracks in the in the armor here um, people revolting and actually seceding and, and getting out of the whole Roman Empire they're fracturing that's kind of exactly what we want to do we want to fracture out and you know but not too early because if we fracture out and we're down here we're not gonna be able to expand very easily I'd rather expand inside the Empire kind of take control of it would be ideal all it took was a small I'm sorry for Queen Clara and I do believe it was her Chancellor Duke Sigurik the second that convinced her to ask for my forgiveness. I'm glad Queen Clara said that she was sorry. Aw. Okay. Eventually we'll get that claim on Trier. Can we go ahead and attack the guy at Burn that we were looking at? Not yet. Still need a couple more troops. Got some tithe. Some tithings. Wait for this to regenerate. I want to see some rulership events. We got a rulership focus. I want to see what what's available there. How are we looking up here? Getting close. Yeah, I think we can go ahead and do it. No, no need to worry about waiting any longer. Burn. Here we come. Claim burn or de jure claim on burn. De jure claim on burn. And marchy, marchy, marchy. For all allies. Raise troops. Move them over there. He's already got a big army over there. No, he doesn't. Never mind. But he's going to have a big enough army over there, I guess, is the point. So we need to move everyone back away from the... Away from there. We'll have them meet in Provence. Provence. Is that how you pronounce it? Probably not, but that's okay. Yep, that guy's trapped, didn't he? Let's head through Spain. Trying to get trying to get a safe way over there. I don't think we're gonna make it though. Oh, he's staying. He's not going anywhere. Oh, that guy went the wrong way. My bad. Send him the wrong direction. Where are you going? Ooh. That's funny. Funny, 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 funny. So what is going on? Is Burgundy revolting? Is that what's happening? I can't tell. 
During a visit to Fogia, da, 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 da. during a visit to Fogia, Baron Siko of Sarno and his entourage were accosted by brigands, who made off with several valuables. Efforts to catch the thieves have failed, and Baron Siko, well, he's a Siko, of course, is now demanding compensation from Mayor uh, Guaymar of Fogia. The matter has been brought for arbitration at your court. It seems fair. Mayor uh, Guaymar will pay for what what was lost. Mayor Guaymar can hardly be held responsible for this theft, or I will personally compensate Baron at Siko. So either make one guy pay, make the uh, make the one guy not pay, or pay myself. I'm going to go ahead and pay my pay for them for it myself and make both of them happy. As more and more people seek the audience at uh, your court, you have come to realize that there is much to do when it comes to the administration of the realm. You must work harder, become diligent. Diligent is one of my favorite traits, so this is awesome. I already love this this focus. If you can get diligent, wow. This new this new DLC has been really awesome. I've, I've really enjoyed being able to kind of mold my character beyond just like age 16, you know? Marching, marching, marching. Keep on marching, marching. Who's leading my army here? I can be part of that. I'll go ahead and sit down on burn and challenge people to to attack. Go ahead, try me. That seed should be pretty quick. We don't have to watch it. Hopefully we'll get that other claim soon. As soon as this war is over, we'll go ahead and uh, take a break and go to the next episode. Legal age, cousin. Princess of each Francia, East Francia, or Princess of France. Oh, the first one's a genius, but she's 37. Second one's 35. He's a cousin, right? <laughs> I don't care about your future, right? I mean, I, I, I do I do care about your future, but... Um, come on, you can't really beat having a, you know, genius princess of East Francia, can you? Go for it, man. Architect has been brought before a court, pro, pro, uh, court proposing the construction of a new castle. So this isn't a tower, mind you. This is a castle in Taranto. For less resources than such a massive project would normally require. Before you can give him an answer, Anne Strif Gandolfini, your steward, whispers in your ear, I know this man. I believe we can trust him. Okay, so Chancellor... I'm going to trust you. You're cynical, temperate, gregarious, honest, kind... All right, build the castle. Sure. I trust you, Mr. Your honest, kind steward dude. Steward dude. Steward dude. Long duel. Burn is going to be ours. Burn, baby. Burn. Burn, baby, burn. So our kinswoman is tried to kill our spy master because she's trying to kill someone else. Expose. Okay, 66%. We're almost done with this war. Getting really close. Waiting for that other claim to show up. The other claim to fame. Wonder how that uh, castle building project's going to go. That's an interesting little event. Nope. I think it's, I think it's over. Okay. So we won the war. Force demands. We win. And victory for us. All right, so I'm going to take a break here on a cliffhanger, and we'll see what happens in our little castle event for rulership. So uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you have enjoyed, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I very much appreciate it. Thank you so much. And remember, keep it clean.